In this video, we'll consider using the base graphics in R to create histograms. To illustrate creating histograms, we'll, we'll look at some data from Australian rules football across five seasons, starting in 2003, running up to 2007. Now, this data is stored in an external CSV file, so we make use of the read.csv function to load it into R. So we specify the file name, and rather than just printing it to the screen, we save it as an object, so a data frame by the name afl.df. So our data is loaded in. So what we may be interested in doing here is taking a quick look at the data that's been loaded. We use the square brackets to indicate, indicate particular rows or columns that we're interested in. So here we can see a bit of the data, which has information such as the home and away team, and the total number of points scored by the home and away team. So we'll use the function hist, which is the base graphics function to create histograms. So what we need to specify is which column of data in this data frame we're interested in. And let's say we want to look at a histogram of the total home points stored in the column home.total of the data frame afl.df. So we use the dollar to extract that particular column of data. So we take a quick look, we have a reasonably simple histogram produced here. So what we can do is to make a few simple changes. So we bring back the previous line. So let's say we want a slightly more meaningful label on the x-axis. We use the xlab argument to specify a text string <coughs> to appear along that axis. So here we're going to call it home points. And then we also decide to put on a title to the graph. So we have histogram of points scored by a home team. And we submit that command. Take a look at our graph. And we'll see that it's essentially the same, but we're now with a title of our choosing and an x-axis label of our choosing.